How's it going, y'all? Joseph with Zerati Steelworks, and I'm excited to tell you about something that we've been working hard here at Zerati Steelworks. That's right, folks. We got a brand new Toyota Tundra grill that we're gonna be bringing to market. This one right here is a custom model, but we will have other styles available. And these grills will fit your Tundra year models 2014 through 2021. So sit back, settle in, and watch as we go ahead and get this installed. All right, folks. Now the following hardware is gonna be what you receive in your packet when you order your grill. Now these components right here are gonna be what you get. You'll be receiving six 11 millimeter bolts, lock washers, regular washers and nuts, the following brackets provided, and then these tools are what we like to go ahead and use in shop to help make things smoother and easier with insulation. So you'll be utilizing a Phillips screwdriver, a 10 and 11 millimeter wrench, a deep socket in both 10 and 11 millimeter, an impact with an extended driver and with any project that we go ahead and do in shop we always like to utilize blue tape to mask off our work area to make things a lot better so go ahead and let's get started now being as that we happen to have a lifted truck in shop right now it's best to go ahead and utilize the step so to make the job a bit easier now once we go ahead and get up on here we're going to remove the following six 10 millimeter bolts that are located on top of this grill so you'll have one here 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 the following two and then lastly this last one right here all 10 millimeter and that's what we'll be utilizing our impact driver and socket now that we've removed the grill off the truck you want to find yourself a nice clean work area because we are going to go ahead and disassemble this grill now that we've got the grill taken off the truck we're going to go ahead and remove the following fasteners that way that we can take this sensor off and utilize it in our brand new grill so we'll start right here then we'll go ahead and grab our impact. Then once we got that loosened up, we'll go ahead and remove this sensor right here. Again, this is gonna be utilized for your new grill. Now after that, folks, we're gonna also wanna take off this bottom lip off the grill and it'll be secured by these clipping points right here. Now it's real critical when removing this that you wanna be very patient and careful with it because you don't wanna damage it because we will be using it later on and putting it back on the truck. So let's follow along. Now that we went ahead and pushed these clips through, we're gonna go ahead and remove this grill shell off. And now that we have it off, folks, we can get a better look at where it's secure. So remember, when prying these out, you definitely wanna be careful and take your time that way that we don't damage this part. Now, if y'all remember in the beginning when we suggested what items to use when doing an insulation, we're gonna be breaking out our blue tape right here and we're gonna be masking off our work area. Cause again, we wanna make sure that we go ahead and protect whatever that we are working on because we wanna make sure that it looks nice afterwards. So we're gonna take it right here, mask off this area and run a nice big long strip on the front of the truck itself, ensuring that we're gonna have no issues. All right, y'all, now that we have the grill taken off of the truck, you're gonna wanna remove the factory hardware from this radiator support bracket and the following areas. You'll have two here, two in the metal, and of course, two at the end as well. Now they'll all be 10 millimeter and we'll be utilizing our impact and socket for that. Now once we go ahead and get started, we'll be moving them quickly. And in a bit, I'll also explain why we're gonna be reusing this on your front grill. Another recommendation I'd like to make, whenever we do these projects, we usually deal with a lot of small parts. So I always recommend either utilizing a tray, a mat, or heck, even call up a buddy, because you know what? A second set of hands never hurts to help. Now, once we go ahead and remove these last two bolts, let's get those provided brackets that we went ahead and shipped out with your grill. Now, these are gonna be the brackets received once more. And this one is the most critical because it needs a proper orientation when installing on your vehicle. Now, if you'll notice, there's a bit of an indentation right here on this middle bracket. And I'm gonna show you why. When you go ahead and come up into this middle section, you want it to be facing towards the driver's side. That way we can ensure that it'll have proper fitment when installing the grill. Now we'll set this one here. Now the following two brackets, the great thing about them is that they have an indentation allowing you to know which way to go ahead and have it directed. And now you go ahead and come back towards your radiator support brace. You'll see the same indentation and you'll set them there just the same. Again, once more with the other side and we're done there. Now, before we go ahead and torque everything down, because it is critical that we hand tighten these. That way that we can make minor adjustments when we're doing the installation process. So once more, we're gonna come again, same areas, just utilizing that factory hardware that's already on the vehicle and just hand tighten it. There we go. Two more in the middle. And again, this is that moment where I started hoping that I had an extra set of hands, because you know what, folks? I got one more nut to go ahead and install. Now that we got that done, 
We'll finish hand tightening them all together and move on to the next step. All right, y'all, so in this next step, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to get the sensor installed on your new grill. You're gonna wanna take the piece of acrylic provided in your kit and place it right here over these studs where the sensor is gonna be mounted. There's only one way for it to be properly orientated and you wanna make sure that the black smooth side is facing outwards. The next step on that is you're gonna wanna take the mount provided as well. This is what's gonna go ahead and hold the sensor in place and the same thing goes. There's only one way for this to go ahead and fit on there to ensure that you have it proper. Next step is that we'll go ahead and take these nuts provided inside your kit, hand tighten them down, and then work towards fastening them down. Now, when we go ahead and tighten these down with our tools, we wanna make sure that we don't over tighten them. We're just gonna go ahead and get to a point to where we have tension that we know that it's secured, okay? So next that we have that here, we'll go ahead and start off and we'll just tighten it down evenly. For myself, I like to go ahead and go same way, corner to corner, give it a nice even tightening through. And once more, don't over tighten it right here, okay? We have one more. And after we go ahead and secure this one down, we're time to go ahead and grab our sensor. Perfect. So now that we have that done, we're gonna grab our sensor. Once more, folks, again, there's only one way for this to go ahead and get mounted in there. So now that we have it set in, We'll properly align that, take our hardware, and go ahead and tighten this down. And now that we have that in there, this one we can go ahead and tighten down a bit more. And now that we got the inside, we'll go ahead and come over to the other. And after we got this done, we're gonna go ahead and install it on the vehicle. So now that we have the grill in place, we're gonna take that factory hardware that we removed from the top, and we're just gonna go ahead and use it to secure this grill. I've already started two of them already, and I'm gonna finish up with these final two. This is just gonna go ahead and help if you're like me, working on the vehicle by yourself to hold this grill up. And again, you don't wanna go ahead and over tighten it right now, because we're still gonna make some micro adjustments to the grill to make sure that it looks well once buttoned down. But I'm just gonna tighten these last two up top, and then we're gonna step back and take a look at how this came out. So now, now that we have that loaded up on top, we're gonna take a look, we're gonna step back, and it really looks well, you know? Again, like we were saying before, you might need to make some micro adjustments, you might need to make some alignments to your bracket, but nevertheless, with what I see right here, it's looking really great. So we can go ahead and proceed to tightening down these bottom brackets, and you'll be utilizing that 10 millimeter wrench. Now, big thing for you folks, if you happen to notice when you're tightening this down, your brackets may move. And again, you wanna go ahead and keep this parallel. That's why I always recommend having a buddy help you out in shop if possible, so you can make sure that you keep that well. But now that I got that reposition, I'm gonna hold it down and keep that bracket parallel. And another thing that'll be provided in your kit as well, because again, a lot of these vehicles, they'll have upgrades done to them. They might even have some damage done to them. But nevertheless, we wanna make sure that when installing your grill, any kind of situation that arises, you'll be prepared for it. So along with the supplied brackets, you'll also be supplied a couple of washers for need be to make any other adjustments. But let me finish up tightening this and we'll move on to the next step. So now that we have the brackets mounted on the core support, we're gonna go ahead and start mounting the grill itself to the brackets. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take our ratcheting wrench, come in through these top cuts made on the grill to go ahead and help with installation. And then we're gonna come down and just tighten this down. And again, folks, this is just gonna ensure that we have this nicely secured. All right, so we're gonna tighten this one down. Now the outside is gonna be rather easy, but I did wanna go ahead and talk to you about that middle bracket because I've noticed with myself that it is rather difficult at times. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is that instead of coming from the top with your bolt provided, it's a little bit easier for you to go ahead and come through the bottom. And that's what we're gonna do right here. All right, so now that we have that in there, we're gonna go ahead and tighten it down from the top. Sure, it's coming together pretty nice, huh? Really liking how it's looking. 
alignment seems pretty good, but I wanna to talk to y'all about the next step. Now it's about getting this plastic lip back on the grill. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and grab those brackets that we have provided. And it's really important to go ahead and remember the left and right orientation. The best way for me to go ahead and remember is that if you look at the brackets, there's a flat side. And you want that flat side facing inward, being is that we have this facing out. So once you go ahead and push it down, you'll be able to see it like this and you have that flat side facing inward and this is going to ensure that you're able to properly mount this back onto the vehicle so we're going to take our hardware and we're going to start finger tightening it down that way that we can get this process started and again i can't stress how critical it is for y'all to go ahead and have these properly orientated so again Let's just go ahead and show y'all right here, flat side facing in. And when we go to the other side, we're just gonna repeat the same process, flat side facing inward. So once more, we're gonna take that in there, hand tighten it. And remember folks, just like that. Now we'll grab our Phillips real quick, that way that we can tighten it a bit more. And then we'll go ahead and bring it up towards the vehicle. And if y'all have been watching through this entire video, we definitely appreciate it. We're glad that we're able to go ahead and show you how to get this installed. We've been working very hard in shop to go ahead and get this done. And we're really excited to bring it out to market, y'all. So now that we got that done, let's go ahead and hold it up to the vehicle. All right, so remember, when putting this back on, we wanna make sure that we snap it back into place the same way that we pulled it out. So we'll go ahead and line it up right there. And snap it back the whole way down. All right, so now that I have this side secured, I wanted to go ahead and show you all the spacing right here. This is something critical because we want to make sure that we mimic that on both sides of the grill. And an easy way to go ahead and get that done is that you can just utilize your hand right here. Give yourself the spacing that you need. Just take one more look at it real quick before you start tightening it down and then come down and tighten it. All right, so now that we've got that tightened down, let's go ahead and close this hood and step back and take a look at this grill. And I'll tell you all right now, folks, it definitely came out great. One thing that we're looking for is that we wanna make sure that we have that even spacing on the side and a nice crisp line on the bottom. But again, folks, if you go ahead and step away and you happen to see that you still need to make adjustments, don't worry. We know that a lot of these supports that are aftermarket might not be true. And again, maybe you did have some front end collision. Nevertheless, with our brackets, there's plenty of play in between so that you can make those adjustments. So need be, you can definitely go ahead and pull it back off, make those adjustments, and and you'll have a nice grill just like how we have here. All right, I really wanna thank y'all for following along through this whole installation process. Again, with these grills, we're gonna have them made available immediately. So you can order yours today by contacting us directly. You can call us with our phone number 210-765-0974, or you can email us immediately at sales at zeratisteelworks.com to go ahead and get your custom grill. Now, when we do release these, we will have a few stock designs available on our website, but I really wanted to let y'all know that you could order yours today once more. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram, so that way you can see all the latest product and updates that we're gonna be releasing. And again, subscribe to our YouTube channel, that way that you'll get more videos like this and get to see what we do throughout the year. This is Joseph Wizzerati Steelworks. Thank you for your time.